one of the best productions in the world. And for the very first time, Cirque du Soleil is bringing its captivating show, Corteo, to the capital city this week. And joining us this morning is acrobat Jonathan Buse. He came dressed up for us. He, of course, is part of the production. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, my Jonathan. My pleasure. Is this your first time in Louisiana? It's my first time in Baton Rouge. I've your been in New Orleans before. Okay, the first time in Baton Rouge. Yeah. So just how long have you been doing this, and how did you get in part of Cirque du Soleil? Yeah, so I grew up doing gymnastics, and at the end of my career, when I was finishing with NCAA gymnastics, uh, I met the talent scouts for Cirque. And a few months after that, I joined the company in Montreal, and that started the whole process of getting into shows. But that was in 2010. So, so you've been with them. It's for, been a minute. Also, you've been with them for yeah. quite some time. Now, the video that we started playing—that's one of the. Tell us about this act because this is part of the scene that you're in. Yeah. So it's the final act of the show. It's called the Tournik. It means bar in Russian. Okay. But it's just an act with six uh, gymnastics high bars, four of them connected, which makes for some interesting traffic and. Uh, timing situations for us, but it is um, all of Mauro's friends. Mauro is the dreamer clown of the show, and it's his friends saying goodbye to him. And okay. Yeah. So I know you said this is toward the end of the show, but what is your favorite part of the show? I mean, I, I really enjoy doing my act. It's really fun, but also the beginning. The beginning of the show is the procession scene, and it's a visually really interesting uh, number. So definitely don't get there late because it's a great beginning. Now, of course, you know, we see your part of the show where, of course, like you said, you are an acrobat. You start out in gymnastics. What all goes into actually preparing this show? Because I've seen you all show at Cirque du Soleil when I was out in Vegas, okay. and it's kind of like almost like magic what you all do up there. Yeah, I mean... Just to start out with, I mean, you have to have your makeup and costume, but there's a, also the physical preparation. There's knowing what your track is going to be for the show. So the track of every show is written out. So all the cues and all the parts that you do in the show are going to be written out or printed out. And uh, you just follow that, remember what you have to do. And uh, yeah, you go all the way through the show and try to make it work. <laughs> what would you say is the most difficult part about putting on such a big production like this? Uh, there are so many challenges. I have different challenges than the rest of the um, crew. Let's say the technicians, they have to set up the show. Sometimes there are you know, different challenges that they have from city to city because we change cities every week. Mm -hmm. So every city and every arena has different challenges. And even for us, we have those moments where we're walking around and we get lost because we're in a different place every week. Uh, but for me, I'd say one of the hardest things is having to turn it on all the time. Ah. Let's say sometimes at the end of the week you're tired or for some reason, maybe you got some aches and pains, and you just have to be able to turn it on that show. What about the most rewarding? Um, it's the applause at the end of the night. Ah. So that yeah, finishing the act when it goes well and finishing the show when it goes well, it's a, an amazing feeling. And what would you say to anyone who sees this in, in a young acrobat who wants to, you know, one day join Cirque du Soleil? Yeah, I mean, it's there's not a lot of secrets. Just working hard and being a nice person to be around is probably the best advice I can give. Now, I do know that the show, you all recently won an award, right? Yes, we won the Polestar Award. for. Tell us about that award. What is that about? So it's an inside industry. It's for the touring industry. So mm -hmm. it's mainly for, or it's only for touring shows and stuff. And uh, our show is the best non-musical family show. And we won the award for that last year. So I know, again, as I mentioned, this is the first time that you all are bringing this show to Baton Rouge. And it's going to be this Thursday, 7.30 at the River Sitter. Is there, persuade someone to come out to actually watch you all. If you haven't seen the Cirque du Soleil show before, it's an amazing uh, introduction to the company and the way that we do the shows. But this is a show that is really unique. It's the biggest arena show that Cirque makes right now. And you can see one of the most theatrical, you know, high-level, high-flying shows that Cirque has to offer right now.